So you did not do anything here. We assume bank will enter the amount correctly on the credit side of passbook. So bank would have entered 900 on the credit side of passbook. As a result, passbook balance is increasing. And here you are finding out passbook balance only. So passbook balance is increasing means add. So how much is the amount you are supposed to add? The amount is 900. So here write the transaction as it is and write the amount 900 in your addition column. Now first total both the columns. So the minus column total comes to 5900 and the plus column total comes to 22,200. Now, since the addition column, the plus column total is more, we take the same and balance it here. So, 20 to 200 minus 5,900. So, it comes to 16,300. It comes to 16,300. So, this 16,300 which column total was more here? The plus column total. So when plus column total is more, always the difference will be favorable balance. So we simply write balance as per which book? We are finding out passbook. So we write it as balance as per passbook balance. So this is how we have completed the fourth problem and we will see the fifth problem. Fifth problem, Reddy's cash book shows a favorable balance of 25,500. So the first sentence tells you, you are given cash book balance. So immediately we will write in the format, balance as per cash book 25,500 clearly told favorable so we will always write favorable balance in plus column so you know that you are given cash book so what should be our target that is ultimately what you are going to find out is your passbook balance so the date on which you are supposed to do BRS is on 31st December 2013 that you can mention and it is that of Mr. Reddy, so mention Reddy's name here. Then, on comparing with the passbook, he found the following differences. Calculate balance as per passbook, that is what we are going to do. Now let us see what is transaction A. Now in transaction A, it states that a check of 2450 received from Sarita and company was entered twice in the cash book. Now check received is nothing but check deposited. So you can alternatively add one more word here. The word is checks received. The moment we receive the check we, and we think of depositing in the bank, you know we have to record it on the cash book on the debit side. So let us say checks received. You have to record 2450 on the debit side. No doubt you recorded. Let us assume you recorded. Now you recorded twice. That means you also committed an error. So that means when you recorded in your cash book 2450, your cash book balance is increasing almost by 4900. So you did one thing correctly and accompanied by one error. So there is an error. So when there is an error or a mistake, we assume in the other side or that is in the other book, that is the past book here, the entry will be made correctly. So the entry of 2450 is correct. So it will be entered on the receipt side of your past book. So, this entry here, this entry here gets cancelled. Okay, so as a result, you can say 
in the cash book there is an extra entry of 2450 on the receipt side so when there is an entry on the receipt side of cash book the cash book balance will increase so you are finding out passbook balance so when cash book balance is increasing passbook balance will decrease so it will decrease by 2450 so when it is decreasing you have to minus so this is what you need to understand then now this is how we deal with so here we'll simply write whatever is given there and enter the amount in which column here minus column so the transaction a you are entering in minus column now moving on to transaction b it states that the receipt column of the cash book has been over added by rupees 1940 that is this is your cash book receipt column means this amount column it is over added means you took extra what is the amount you took extra 1940 let us assume that means you committed a mistake you took extra amount so naturally bank will not take that amount now as a result for the entry of 1940 on the receipt side of cash book your cash book balance will increase when your cash book balance is increasing your pass book balance will decrease so 1940 the cash pass book balance will decrease by so as a result you have to minus it because you are finding out pass book balance so again 1940 in the minus column now moving on to the next transactions very important because here you are getting more than one amount so whenever there is more than one amount you know sometimes some amounts are entered here some amounts are entered here so you are to be concerned with the amount that is not entered in one of the books you should be concerned with the amount that is not entered in one of the books so let us see this before that i am removing this so what it states several checks totaling 6000 were issued to different suppliers so you have you have issued number of checks maybe to a b c d whatever may be the names of the people or organizations but all of that total to 6000 so checks issued 6000 so we entered 6000 here then what is happening of these checks worth 1500 were debited in the pass book on 2nd january 2014 and 2500 on 4th january and the balance being debited before 31st december 2013 so carefully listen we are preparing the brs on 31 12 2013 so the amount that should be added or subtracted here to find out pass book balance is the amount which is not recorded in one of the books on this date 